Today on CJ Pony Parts, we're going to show you how to install a Hertz Short Throw Shifter on your Focus ST to make it shift and feel a whole lot nicer. The Focus ST is a great performance car right from the factory, but the shifter throw is a little bit too long for our liking, so today we're going to make it a whole lot shorter by installing this Hertz Short Shifter. This Hertz Short Shifter is designed to work with the 2013-18 Focus ST. It's going to replace the factory shifter with a built aluminum adjustable shifter and also has an adapter for the transmission to shorten your throw up to 44%. It will make your shifts more precise and feel a whole lot better as well, and it will even work with the factory shift knob. For more information and pricing, click the link in the description down below. Now let's get to the install. Tools you'll need for this installation, quarter inch ratchet, eight millimeter socket, T15 Torx bit, a 3 8 ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, a trim panel removal tool, a razor or a pair of cutters, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. First thing you want to do for this install is remove the shift knob by rotating it counterclockwise. So this car is a 2013, so this bezel right here is attached to the shifter boot. We need to remove it. We're going to take this trim removal tool and get it underneath this bezel and pry it up very carefully. Just take your time and be gentle with this so you don't break the plastic. Locate the two shifter rods that attach to the shifter. You're going to be popping off these ball sockets that attach to the ball stud. Use a trim removal tool such like this and uh, pop them off. Locate this alignment tab right here on the shifter. We're going to be cutting it. Draw a line right here. We're basically cutting off this U section right here. So you can use a razor blade, a pair of cutters, whatever means necessary to cut this section off and get rid of this U section. Just like that. Next, we're going to remove the four screws that keep the shifter in place. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry up on this clip on the front of the shifter. And that will release the front. Get a flathead screwdriver on the back of the shifter, kind of going on an angle, and twist to release the clip on the back. And then this whole piece will now be free. Pull the shifter towards the driver's side. And use a pair of pliers to grab onto the centering spring right here. And while you lift up, pull the whole shifter assembly out. All right, grab some gloves because this part's going to be a little greasy. Get the shifter out of the car and pull the bottom cup off of the shifter. And then you can pull this ball socket off as well. Then pull this pivot socket off. <laughs> and you can pull this rubber grommet off. Remove as much grease as you can from this factory shifter. And you're going to apply this back onto the shifter cup to be used with the Hurst shifter. This next part, you want to cut a wedge right here on the bottom of the shifter. This will allow you to remove it. You can use a knife, but we're going to make it a little bit quicker of a process by using a Sawzall. So once you get a wedge cut out of the plastic, you don't need to remove any of the metal in here, just the plastic. You'll be able to remove it from the assembly, just like that. Grab the new Hurst shifter and install it the same way that you removed the factory shifter. Install the factory rubber grommet onto the Hurst shifter, then the pivot socket. This will take a little bit of force. And then you can install the cup. We're about ready to install the shifter into the car, but before we do, we're going to install the ball stud. Now this is adjustable. If you have it on the top here, this is going to be the shortest throw possible. This will be in the middle, and this will be the longer throw. 
And for this particular install, the customer wants the longer throw. So we're going to install it on the bottom. And this will still put us around like a 32% reduction. So it's still gonna be significantly shorter than factory. Okay, to install the shifter, you wanna pull up on the top leg of the centering spring and install the shifter. When you release this spring, you need to make sure you get it in the groove in the rubber grommet. So make sure you get it centered right on that rubber grommet, just like that. Now we need to line this retainer back up and snap it into place. Just like that. Reinstall the four screws. One thing we forgot to show you earlier when we installed this stud is you wanna make sure that you put some thread locker on here just to be safe that it doesn't ever come off. You can now reattach the two cables to the shifter. Snap them onto the ball studs. If you're having interference problems when you get this shifter installed, as you can see, when we go to reverse, we're having just a little bit of interference right here. That little pop, and it's just a little bit of extra casting on this plastic. So we're just gonna take our cutters and cut a little piece of that off and it should fix it without a problem. Just cut off a little piece. The shifter boot can now be installed. Slide this over the shaft all the way down. Then you can snap this trim back into place. You can either reuse the factory shift knob with this or install the Hurst shift knob. We're gonna use the Hurst shift knob for this install. When installing the Hurst shift knob, you need to fine tune it actually. If it's too low or too high, you won't have clearance for the reverse lockout. So I'll show you, I'll loosen it a little bit. And if it's too high, you will run into clearance problems with the reverse lockout hitting here. But if it's too low, it won't come up high enough to go over. So you need to fine tune it to where you get proper clearance. Just like that, it's nice and good. And then we're gonna install our set screw in the top. Apply some grease to the O-ring and install it onto the shift knob cap. And then align the logo and put it on the shift knob. All right, just like that, we're finished with the shifter portion. Now we can go up to the engine compartment and work on the adapter on the transmission. Okay, we're up at the engine compartment now. We're gonna remove the engine cover. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor. And disconnect this hose right here. Loosen the hose clamp on this portion of the intake. It's on the back side here and it's an eight millimeter. Then unhook the retaining strap and you can lift up on the air box. Grab the shifter arm and rotate it counterclockwise or pull this side all the way forward for maximum clearance and then pop off this rod right here. Just like that. Grab the shifter plate that comes with the kit and place it right under this shift arm. Then take the retainer that has the Hearst logo on it and get that over it. Line up the holes and then you're going to install the two provided screws and apply Loctite to them. And tighten the bolts with a 3 16 Allen key. Install the ball stud into the shifter retainer. And make sure you apply a thread locker to it as well. And tighten it down. Snap the rod onto the ball stud. 
All we have to do now is reinstall the air box. Tighten down this clamp, reconnect the mass airflow sensor, and you're done. Okay, we got our Hurst short through shifter installed in our 2013 Focus and it's feeling absolutely amazing. The shifts are more precise and crisp now. It feels so good. Reverse is working flawlessly and I'm loving the way the shifter looks. I'd say give yourself two to three hours to install this and before you know it, you'll be heading down the road. We hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the link right here. And for more videos like this one, click this playlist.